Well, I know an iceberg became a bad omen for the Titanic. Still, despite all the hurdles, we need to preserve them more than before, little kitty. Why? Hmm, good question, my curious cat. Hey, friends, as we know, the gradual climate change is causing all the ice to melt. But have you ever wondered what will happen if it happens overnight? Well, in today's episode, let us consider this melting situation and answer an icy cold question. What if the ice melts away? Zoom in! Presently, 10% of the land area on Earth is covered with ice, including glaciers, ice caps and the ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica. Usually, it would take hundreds to thousands of years for it all to melt away. But have you ever wondered what will happen if one day you wake up and found out that a drastic climate change has caused all the ice to melt? Let me tell you something, my friends. If it ever happens, it's not going to be a pleasant sight. Yes, as we know, about 10% of the Earth is covered with ice, which is around 5.8 million square miles of our planet. So, if all of it were to melt suddenly, the first thing we will notice is the rise in the global sea level that would go up to 230 feet high. This means more than half of the Statue of Liberty will be submerged into the water. Even worse, this steep rise in water level will partially drown all the continents, adversely affecting the cities located in the coastal region like those in Australia and Southern Asia, which will force up to 40% of the world's population out of their houses. And it's not just the Earth's surface that will be in turmoil, but something equally disastrous will occur below it as well. Yes, all the rising oceanic salty water will infiltrate groundwater reserves called aquifers, leading to its contamination and destruction. Because of this, we won't have any fresh water left to drink. Apart from all this, ocean currents will also change their course, affecting the lives of marine animals. With no time to evolve along with such a massive change in the sea, most aquatic and polar animals will eventually become extinct. Even those who manage to survive will have to migrate to a better place for habitation, decreasing marine food supply for humans. Not only that, but this change in the sea current will bring an extreme change in our climate as well. Yes, suddenly the dry regions might start to receive heavy rainfalls and the places that receive significant amounts of rain will turn into deserts, leading to a severe famine condition. And it's not just the water, land and climate that will be affected by the sudden melting of the ice, but it will negatively impact the air as well. Yes, as ice uses higher CO2 concentrations to melt, Without the required amount of snow to consume it, carbon dioxide will accumulate in our atmosphere, causing difficulty in breathing for all living beings. Next, we will see that the flow of wind will change as well. You heard that right, my friends. With the absence of glaciers to deflect the sun rays, there might be an over-evaporation of water leading to an increase in the formation of rain clouds, resulting in heavy pouring, which may cause massive floods around the globe. This change in the environment will also cause oceanic hurricanes, leading to even more floods. Because of this, 
even the most minor earthquakes will push the water so hard that it could cause a tsunami. All of this will result in a need for massive migration, which we might not be ready to tackle at any cost. So, the world we live in will eventually collapse completely. The good news is, this isn't happening as of now. But the bad news is, if we keep burning fossil fuels indefinitely, global warming will eventually melt all the ice and within 5,000 years, the Earth will have no ice and possibly no life on its surface. Think about it. Trivia time! Did you know the ice on the Greenland and Antarctica is made of fresh water? Yes, so when it melts, that's about 69% of the world's fresh water supply that's going straight into the oceans. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.